So uh, just to start off here, if a buyer's, they put an offer in on a home and their financing was approved, but they, they go on to actually lose their job in between that period and closing, uh, can the lender withdraw financing uh, during that period before closing? Most commitments that lenders give to uh, buyers when they're at the period where they're waiving financing are conditional on certain things. So it's very rare that they would be a firm commitment. And so if there is an intervening uh, change, like the person lost their jobs, in most cases, the lenders could withdraw that financing. So mm -hmm. even though they think they're approved, normally they're just approved conditionally. Mm -hmm. So at this point, have you seen any, any closings uh, not closed because the finance, the, the bank pulls their financing at the last minute? Have you seen any cases? I have not. Yeah. What I have seen is I've seen uh, appraisals come in a bit lower. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, while we haven't seen a dramatic change in values, we have seen some appraisals come in lower, mm -hmm. which has led to either people delaying to move to another bank to hopefully get a better appraisal or having for buyers to come up with the extra money to compensate for the change. Mm, yeah. So yeah, the appraiser just being a little bit more conservative now than, than normal in the current, in the current. Absolutely. Time. Right. Okay, great. Um, so uh, purchaser has, has bought a home and uh, they've, they've firmed up. So they've removed all their conditions and they, they in the agreement, they have a final walkthrough schedule. That's actually right in the agreement. Um, now, can a seller deny that walkthrough uh, if they're concerned with social distancing and kind of what recourse do they have? Well, again, the seller should not be denying that because it, it is a term that they agree to in the contract. Uh, however, if they did deny it because they were concerned of exposure to their family or their home with a buyer coming in, I think it'd be very difficult to fight that issue right now. Um, many people may not be aware, but the courts are closed except for urgent matters. Mm. So it would be very hard to get a judge to even speak to this issue because I doubt they would consider it urgent. Mm. So difficult times for stuff like yeah. this. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Well, and that's, that's part of having a realtor with, uh, along the, the side of, of that to ensure that there's communication back and forth and perhaps there's uh, an in-between solution whether it is just the realtor walking through uh, with their phone so the buyer can actually go and virtually do that walkthrough. Um, and uh, so there's some things that can be worked out. Uh, the biggest thing we found is communication in a, in a, in a period like that. I, I, I can't agree with you more, Mark. Yeah. Okay, now virtual processes, uh, I mean, they're, they're becoming more and more available. Um, and and how has that impacted the, the legal field for you? It, it's been a pretty dramatic change. I mean, we're, we're doing this now uh, through an application called Zoom, which I've become more and more familiar with. Didn't know it existed two weeks ago. Uh, so we no longer have any clients attend in our office, whereas every signing used to be in person. Uh, and now we're using FaceTime, Zoom, Google Duo uh, to, to sign up clients. For sales, it's wonderful because things can be signed electronically. Unfortunately, the banks have not yet worked with us to accept electronic signatures on mortgage documents. So we're working with clients to, to email them the documents so they can print them out, or we leave packages outside so the clients don't have to be exposed to our staff and vice versa. Uh, and then they would sign them virtually with me and then deposit them in our, in our Dropbox. Mm. So it, it's, a, it's, it's a change. Uh, but it still works and everyone can still close all their deals. You should have bought Zoom stock a couple of months ago, Andy. Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, thanks again uh, so much for your guidance today, Andy. Uh, uh, one of the uh, wisest men that I, I know and you're excellent at what, what you do. If you do have any questions, uh, any legal questions or real estate questions, direct message us. We're here to help.